IL2 1946. It's campaign time. And I just uh, got this new campaign from Lars and Vaughn at Mission for Today, uh, a Rhodesian campaign. And Lars and Vaughn are like the premier campaign builders. Uh, they put out some really detailed uh, campaigns uh, with aircraft skins, uh, historical background, and they do this as well on the Rhodesian campaigns. What I like the most is I learned from them some World War II history. So uh, I looked at the um, PDF and saw that they flew uh, from North Africa all over uh, up to Europe. So, uh, so looks like an interesting campaign. So let's see how it goes. All right, guys, let's get underway. But uh, before we get into the air, we found a conflict with Rahner's RAF pilot upgrade. And what you need to do uh, is to go into the World at War 3 folder, uh, find your RAF pilot upgrade, click into it, and click into the individual aircraft. Remove the Spitfire Mark One because it will not uh, run with this file. It just it just didn't work out. So uh, later, uh, go through each pilot individually, uh, test flight them. Uh, no need to remove them if you don't need to. But the, we know the Mark One pilot is not working out. All right, let's pick up campaign mission one, and we're over the channel, and our flight spots a group of HE-111s. Uh, looks like they're returning back to base. Our flight commander has given commands to attack the enemy bombers. So I'm going to try to get ahead of these uh, 111s and then turn in nose up. And if it all works out, I'll be coming in out of the sun. Our uh, flight is starting to engage the uh, enemy bomber, so let's turn in and try to overwhelm those crew gunners. And I made a bad approach, so I just hose that. So let's follow up with the rest of the flight conventionally. We just passed the plane that got hit. So we're gonna go for the number three in flight. And we see a little bit of damage, but we're only uh, using 30 caliber uh, guns at this time of the war. So we got to get close. There we go. That's some noticeable damage. And we took a hit from the crew gunners. So we want to be careful. We don't want to get our engine shot out over the channel. All right, so we're going to break off, put some heavy damage on two of the flight. We're going to try to get ahead of the flight leader and then try that nose up shot and see if we can't get it to work.
All right, we're going to go up into the sun. The enemy aircraft has made a course change, so we're going to turn opposite to match it. Oh, we got some good hits over the top. Let's turn back in. You want to aim for the engines and the wings. You want to try to set the fuel tanks in place. There we go. Right engine on fire. Get out, man. Get out. All right, let's turn back in. lined up for a cross and we're out of ammunition all right let's head back to base all right we took a few hits but nothing uh, that would prevent us from making it back home there's our airfield, a very welcome sight. And let's get lined up for landing. We were fortunate that the uh, 111s did not have a fighter escort. So we got to pick our shots. All right, let's get lined up, throttling back, nose up. And touchdown. All right, we made it on Cabbage Field. All right, we got a mission victory. Let's taxi off the runway. Right brake. Right rudder. Short throttle pop. Let's get some air. All right, looking good. Let's check our score. Okay, we got credit for two air to airs. And I think some of these bombers, uh, late damage, probably would have to ditch. Um, but anyway, our flight did really good. It sure was a, a well-planned, well-laid-out mission. Let's apply the stats to the campaign. And there we have mission number two. A very close-up defense mission from bombers. Well, guys, I hope you like this campaign. I sure do. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you up again soon.